Yashar Jasher 81. And the children of Yashar'el journeyed from Ra'amsek to Kutot, about 600,000 men on foot, besides the little ones and their women. Also a mixed multitude went up with them, and flocks and herds, even much cattle. And the sojourning of the children of Yashar'el, who dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, in hard labor, was two hundred and ten years. And at the end of two hundred and ten years, Yahuwah brought forth the children of Yashadael from Mitzrayim with a strong hand. And the children of Yashadael traveled from Mitzrayim and from Goshen, and from Ra'amsech, and encamped in Kukoth on the fifteenth day of the first month. And the Mitzrim buried all their firstborn, whom Yahuwah had smitten, and all the Mitzrim buried their slain for three days. And the children of Yashadael traveled from Kukoth and encamped in Itham at the end of the wilderness. And on the third day, after the Mitzrayim had buried their firstborn, many men rose up from Mitzrayim and went after Yashadael to make them return to Mitzrayim, for they repented that they had sent Yashadael away from their servitude. And one man said to his neighbor, Surely Moshe and Aharon spoke to Pharaoh, saying, We will go a three days' journey in the wilderness and sacrifice to Yahuwah Eloheinu. Now, therefore, let us rise up early in the morning and cause them to return. And it shall be that if they return with us to Mitzrayim to their masters, then shall we know that there is belief in them. But if they will not return, then we will fight with them and make them come back with great power and a strong hand. And all the nobles of Pharaoh rose up in the morning, and with them about 700,000 men. And they went forth from Mitzrayim on that day and came to the place where the children of Yashara'el were. And all the Mitzrim saw, and behold, Moshe and Aharon and all the children of Yashara'el were sitting before pi he Chiroth, eating and drinking and celebrating the feast of Yahuwah. And all the Mitzrim said to the children of Yashar'el, Surely you said, We will go a journey for three days in the wilderness and sacrifice to our Elohim and return. Now, therefore, this day makes five days since you went. Why do you not return to your masters? And Moshe and Ahran answered them, saying, Because Yahuwah Eloheinu has testified in us, saying, You shall no more return to Mitzrayim, but we will betake ourselves to a land flowing with milk and honey, as Yahuwah Eloheinu had sworn to our ancestors to give to us. And when the nobles of Mitzrayim saw that the children of Yashara'el did not hearken to them to return to Mitzrayim, they girded themselves to fight with Yashara'el. And Yahuwah strengthened the hearts of the children of Yashara'el over the Mitzrayim, that they gave them a severe beating, and the battle was sore upon the Mitzrayim, and all the Mitzrim fled from before the children of Yashadael 
for many of them perished by the hand of Yashara'el. And the nobles of Pharaoh went to Mitzrayim and told Pharaoh, saying, The children of Yashara'el have fled and will no more return to Mitzrayim. And in this manner did Moshe and Aharan speak to us. And Pharaoh heard this thing, and his heart and the hearts of all his subjects were turned against Yashara'el, and they repented that they had sent Yashara'el. And all the Mitzrim advised Pharaoh to pursue the children of Yashara'el, to make them come back to their burdens. And they each said, rather, and they said each man to his brother, What is this which we have done, that we have sent Yashara'el from our servitude? And Yahua strengthened the hearts of all the Mitzrim to pursue Yashara'el, for Yahua desired to overthrow the Mitzrim in the Red Sea. And Pharaoh rose up and harnessed his chariot, and he, and he ordered all the Mitzrim to assemble. Not one man was left, excepting the little ones and the women. And all the Mitzrim went forth with Pharaoh to pursue the children of Yashara'el. And the camp of Mitzrayim was an exceedingly large and heavy camp, about ten hundred thousand men. And the whole of this camp went and pursued the children of Yashara'el to bring them back to Mitzrayim. And they reached them encamping by the Red Sea. And the children of Yashara'el lifted up their eyes and beheld all the Mitzrayim pursuing them. And the children of Yashara'el were greatly terrified at them. And the children of Yashara'el cried to Yahuwah. And on account of the Mitzrim, the children of Yashara'el divided themselves into four divisions. And they were divided in their opinions, for they were afraid of the Mitzrim. And Moshe spoke to each of them. The first division was of the children of Reuven, Shimon, and Yishachar. And they resolved to cast themselves into the sea, for they were exceedingly afraid of the Mitzrim. And Moshe said to them, Fear not, stand still, and see the Yeshua of Yahuwah, which he will effect this day for you. The second division was of the children of Zevelin, Binyamin, and Naphtali. And they resolved to go back to Mitzrayim with the Mitzrim. And Moshe said to them, Fear not, for as you have seen the Mitzrim this day, so shall you see them no more, for ever. The third division was of the children of Yahuda and Yosef, and they resolved to go meet the Mitzrim to fight with them. And Moshe said to them, Stand in your places, for Yahuwah will fight for you, and you shall remain silent. And the fourth division was of the children of Levi, Gad and Asher. And they resolved to go into the midst of the Mitzrim to confound them. And Moshe said to them, Remain in your stations and fear not. Only call unto Yahuwah, that he may save you out of their hands. After this, Moshe rose up from amidst the people, and he prayed to Yahuwah, and said, O Yahuwah Elohim of the whole earth, save now your people whom you did bring forth from Mitzrayim, and let not the Mitzrayim boast that the power 
and might are theirs. So, Yahuwah said to Moshe, Why do you cry unto me? Speak to the children of Yashara'el, that they shall proceed. And do you stretch out your rod upon the sea, and divide it, and the children of Yashara'el shall pass through it. And Moshe did so, and he lifted up his rod upon the sea, and divided it. And the waters of the sea were divided into twelve parts. And the children of Yashara'el passed through on foot with shoes, as a man would pass through a prepared road. And Yahuwah manifested to the children of Yashara'el his wonders in Mitzrayim and in the sea by the hand of Moshe and Aharan. And when the children of Yashara'el had entered the sea, the Mitzrim came after them, and the waters of the sea resumed upon them, and they all sank in the water, and not one man was left excepting Pharaoh, who gave thanks to Yahuwah and believed in him. Therefore Yahuwah did not cause him to perish at that time with the Mitzrim. And Yahuwah ordered an angel to take him from amongst the Mitzrim, who cast him upon the land of Nineveh. And he reigned over it for a long time. And on that day Yahuwah saved Yashara'el from the hand of Mitzrayim, and all the children of Yashara'el saw that the Mitzrim had perished, and they beheld the great hand of Yahuwah in what he had performed in Mitzrayim and in the sea. Then sang Moshe and the children of Yashara'el this song unto Yahuwah, on the day when Yahuwah caused the Mitzrim to fall before them. And all Yashara'el sang in concert, saying, I will sing to Yahuwah, for he is greatly exalted. The horse and his rider has he cast into the sea. Behold, it is written in the Sefer of the Torah, of Elohim. After this, the children of Yashara'el proceeded on their journey and encamped in Mara. And Yahuwah gave to the children of Yashara'el commandments and judgments in that place in Mara. And Yahuwah commanded the children of Yashara'el to walk in all his ways and to serve him. And they journeyed from Mara and came to Elim. And in Elim were twelve springs of water and seventy date trees. And the children encamped there by the waters. And they journeyed from Elim and came to the wilderness of Sin rather, Sain, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departure from Mitzrayim. At that time, Yahuwah gave the manna to the children of Yashara'el to eat, and Yahuwah caused food to rain from heaven for the children of Yashara'el day by day. And the children of Yashara'el ate the manna for 40 years, all the days that they were in the wilderness, until they came to the land of Canaan to possess it. And they proceeded from the wilderness of Sain 
and encamped in Alush. And they proceeded from Alush and encamped in Rafim, rather Rafidim. And when the children of Yasharael were in Rafidim, Amalek, the son of Eliphaz, the son of Esau, the brother of Sepho, came to fight with Yasharael. And he brought with him eight hundred and one thousand men, magicians and conjurers. And he prepared for battle with Yasharael in Rephidim. And they carried on a great and severe battle against Yasharael. <laughs> and Yahuwah delivered Amalek and his people into the hands of Moshe and the children of Yasharael, and into the hand of Yahusha, rather Yahusha, the son of Nun, or rather the son of Nun, the Ephrathi, the servant of Moshe, and the children of Yasharael smote. Amalek and his people at the edge of the sword, but the battle was very sore upon the children of Yasharael. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Write this thing as a memorial for you in a sefer, and place it in the hand of Yahusha the son of Nun, rather, the son of Nun, your servant. And you shall command the children of Yashadael, saying, When you shall come to the land of Canaan, you shall utterly efface the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moshe did so. And he took the sefer and wrote upon it these words, saying, Remember what Amalek has done to you in the road when you went forth from Mitzrayim, who met you in the road and smote your rear, even those that were feeble behind you when you were faint and weary. Therefore it shall be when Yahuwah Elohecha shall have given you rest from all your enemies round about you in the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you for an inheritance to possess it, that you shall blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. You shall not forget it. And the king who shall have pity on Amalek or upon his memory or upon his seed, behold, I will require it of him, and I will cut him off from amongst his people. And Moshe wrote all these things in a sefer, and he enjoined the children of Yasharael respecting all these matters.